Okay. <laughs> Our next comic, he's a professional. And he's a very funny man. And I'm sure you're going to like him. <laughs> Not that guy, no. He's just eating a Kit Kat. Uh, let's give it up for Rob Mungo. Good evening, welcome, thanks for coming out. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I thought I'd start tonight with a little public service announcement of something I heard on the television the other day. Quite distressing, quite frankly. About a fella in Mississippi who figured out he could sustain an erection while he was having sex by inserting heroin into his penis. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, yeah. Guy did this, and the penis fell off. Call me crazy, but this sounds like a great Just Say No campaign, huh? <laughs> okay, we're going to do it for you one more time, folks. This is your penis. This is your penis on drugs. <laughs> Stay away from that shit, kids. <laughs> yeah. Disemboweled penis humor. All right. Kind of gets, goes back to that Bobbit thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, I mean, anybody see the testimony that she was giving on CNN the other day? It was shocking. Shocking, quite frankly. I sat there and I watched her say all this, and I was shocked. It's the only word I can say, because she was alive. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, does the word justifiable homicide mean anything? <laughs> I mean, my God, if that happened to me... Three days later, I'd be in a fucking pawn shop getting on a three-day waiting list in some state. I swear to God. <laughs> I'd be in there, the guy would be in there, okay, you need to fill out these forms, and, oh, you got your dick cut off, did you? We'll just forego this part, buddy, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, you might want to like that. Do you, have you seen the cop killer bullets we have? I think those might work well for you, pal. Okay, I couldn't believe it. You beat me, me, me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you cut off his dick, right? Not guilty. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <sighs> yeah, it's nutty. Bye, plus, how many non-smokers we have out here? Bye, <laughs> plus, how many smokers we got? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at the energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smoker myself, and uh, I wish I was smoking a key. Do you agree with that? Smoking will kill you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I disagree. Smoking will save your life. I can, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Tell you how it will. Ask you folks a question. If your house is on fire, what's the one thing that will kill you before the fire actually gets to you? Smoke. Smoke, thank you very much. Answer. <laughs> Answer. Fuck you. <laughs> Cancer will tell ya! <laughs> I got him with that one, Johnny. <laughs> I've been late in a month, but I got him with that one, didn't ya? <laughs> Cancer. No, the smoke will kill you. The smoke will kill you before the fire actually gets to you. Well, I got that smoke thing licked. You poor bastard's gonna be choking to death. I'll be walking through my house going... <laughs> <sighs> get up and walk, you pussies. Come on! Yeah, fuck you. I'm going back to the dog. Anybody need anything else out of here? <laughs> well, save your life. You ever been to a marathon? See all these healthy bastards jogging? After 26 miles, what are they doing? <laughs> That's why I like to stand at the finish line with a cigarette. Oh, good job, Johnny. <laughs> way to go. Feel the burn. <laughs> Choking to death, bastard. <laughs> That'll save your life, man. Would have saved your life at the World Trade Center. It would have. Because they had banned smoking in the World Trade Center. Which got me to thinking there was an army of smokers down underneath that thing when that fucking thing blew up. It's true. They were all like, oh, God, Johnny, this sucks, man. We gotta stand here and smoke. I hate this. We gotta go outside. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking 
fucking life. I'm giving you nuggets here. Hoo ya. <sighs> drinking? Everybody's drinking. Have a good time tonight? Yeah. You drinking? Yeah. Be careful, it'll fuck you up, man. It will. Fuck up John Denver. <laughs> That's true. John Denver was arrested for DWI last summer. He was. John Denver. My question is, who is partying with John Denver? If you're at a bar or a party and John Denver walks in, leave, because that bar party's gonna suck. It is. You'll be like, all right, man, we got a cake of odules, a bag of placebos, and some temporary tattoos. Let's wail! <laughs> <laughs> we might stay up till 10. Woo! John Denver's in the house. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the games begin. I really wish it would have been Keith Richards who called him in and reported his ass. That'd have been good, huh? <laughs> Hello, officer. Mick and I were shooting heroin with a couple of twelve-year-olds. A crazy man with a banjo drove by. <laughs> Mick, pass me a twelve-year-old. Put on axe tray. If you're anything like with me, you believe Satan is a homosexual. <laughs> true. You look in the Bible, it describes Satan the way he was when he was in heaven, when his name was Lucifer. They describe Satan as a man, a man with a gorgeous face, ruby red lips, long flowing blonde hair, a long white gown, and shoes made of brass. Hmm. <laughs> you had a tiara and you got a prom queen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What gets me to thinking, all these like real big burly men who pray to Satan all the time, what they must be thinking when Satan finally does appear to them. They're doing like, oh mighty Lord Satan, Lord Satan appear to us Lord, we wish to do evil for you Lord Satan. Show us what evil you would have us do on this planet Lord Satan. What will you have us do? Hello, oh my god, stop it, oh. Listen, don't mind the horns, they're just for show, really. Stop. By the way, does this tail make me look fat? What do you think, huh? Everybody, you know Antonius, and he's just a friend. Stop. Evil, evil. What do I want you to do that's evil? I want you to go out and make bell bottoms popular again. Can you do that for me, please? I want to see bell bottoms on everybody. Satan is in charge of fashion, ladies and gentlemen. Explain parachute pants. Can you? No! <laughs> now, if you think Satan is gay, and Satan is the opposite of God and Jesus, Jesus must be a stud muffin. <laughs> True. Think about having sex with Jesus. That'd be great, man. <laughs> Not for me, but for the ladies. I mean. <laughs> man, that'd be great. Think about you know, when he was walking the earth, how great that would have been. Hey, you know, <laughs> I'm Satan here. Suck my dick. No, I command you. Go ahead. There you go. Yeah. Suck it. Yeah, now it's a cigarette. Boom. There you go. Oh, it's a dick again. All right. How are you? Yeah. Hey, you're a dragon now. <laughs> Just having a little fun. <laughs> oh. Goddamn bar humor. <laughs> Oh man, let's see. What else did I want to say? Something else. Oh yeah. John F. Kennedy. I have a theory about the Kennedy assassination, by the way. Who is John F. Kennedy? What? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. President. About 30 years ago, may have heard of him. Anyway, I have a theory about John F. Kennedy. Everybody says, like his sergeant of Lee Harvey Oswald came out and said, you know, Lee Harvey Oswald was a poor shot. There's no way he could get three shots into John F. Kennedy. It's impossible. He was not that good of a shot. I disagree. I think he could have. If he was aiming for Jackie. <laughs> now stick with me here. <laughs> you know, everybody knows Kennedy liked to fuck around. That's no big secret. So I think he called in some little sergeant and said, hey, Get me somebody who can knock off Jackie for me. I'll be driving around with the top down in Dallas. Do it then. Guy fucked up and got Oswald, who wasn't a very good shot. 
He was up, Oswald was up there going, okay, I think I can hit him. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I got eight seconds. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I can get him, I know it. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, I'd like to have been in heaven about three days later when uh, Lee Harvey Oswald showed up there. Kennedy was at the front gates. You dumb sack of shit, I said shoot a Jackie, you idiot. Where's Marilyn Monroe? I'll fuck her. <laughs> I'm still in the developmental stages. You know? It's comedy embryo. Yeah. Okay, before we get out of here, um, I haven't done this one in a, in a while. How many people besides me think there's far too much sexual innuendo in advertising? Oh, I do. Oh, you do? Anybody not think there's? You don't think there's no sexual innuendo in advertising, huh? No. Not enough. No, I want to see a great big dick that says, eat Cheetos. That's what I call advertising, by God. That's how you move a product. I want to see a naked woman sprawled over a snicker bar. Oh, yeah. Nah, I think there's far too much sexual innuendo. Everything has sexual innuendo in its advertising. Take, for instance, this Barney the Dinosaur crap. You know Barney the Dinosaur? Yep. It's this little, uh... Dinosaur teaches the alphabet to eight-year-olds, watches on PBS, whatnot. Anyway, you can buy Barney the Dinosaur videotapes through the mail for your kids. Well, the ad campaign for this is a little skewed towards the penis. The catchphrase is, goes, and I quote, he's big, he's purple, he's your best friend. <laughs> That's a penis, ladies and gentlemen. You're playing Password and you got these clues? The password is penis. Big, purple, Barney the Dinosaur? <laughs> Even the most benign object has sexual innuendo in its advertising. You know the Red Devil Dust Buster, this handheld vacuum cleaner thing? Ad campaign for this goes, the power of an upright in the palm of your hand. <laughs> that is the weakest that joke has ever got. <laughs> that fucking kills, ladies and gentlemen. That's a dick reference. You're supposed to laugh hard. <laughs> Anyway, the most blatant example of this came out about a year or so ago. It was one for the Geo Storm. The one where they had Leon Redbone singing on. He was singing, getting an you, getting all about you. Anyway, they had all these yuppies singing the praises of the Geo Storm. Things like, oh, it's a great car, it's a carnivorous car, it's a man It really eats up the road. One of these ladies chimes in and says, I drive it because guys like a girl who can drive a stick. Clear an indication if you can drive a stick, you can give a good hand job. I disagree. I've seen women drive a stick. It looks like this. <laughs> You want a hand job, honey? <laughs> Folks, that's my time. My name is Rob Mungy. I'm going to do show. Blah, 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 blah. Hey. All right, let's hear it for Rob Mungo again. Woo. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to keep on the energy roll here. Let it go, Rob. Our next comic, he's a touring professional. Been doing this for about a thousand years. His name's Ray.